Yes, it's getting a little bit exciting in here. Why? Because we have an advent calendar and I absolutely lose my mind at advent calendars and we get to open another little one of those doors today. It's only one week until Christmas and that means we've only got one week of doors left to explore on our beautiful Nespresso advent calendar. We've been loving the coffee. I love the fact that it's not just world-renowned designer, Johanna Ortiz's design, and we know that she's incredible, but the fact that behind every door is an incredible coffee surprise. So let's roll that to drum. Um, today is the... Da, what da, da, what da, is da, the day? It's, it's the 16th. I just not... treat every day like Christmas. It's the 16th, it's the 17th today. It's the 16th. Where is it? There we go. Da, da, da. Come to me, my little friend. Apparently it's the 17th. Well, <laughs> 16 was still closed. Okay, <laughs> so we can't leave 16 behind. And I, Colombia is one of my favorite coffees. Oh, yes, so I'm going to keep that just for me. Um, absolutely, I love that. And speaking of surprises, because it's Friday, we are not going to just drink the coffee behind today's door. We are going to use it to make a decadent crepe cake, which is why number 17 is actually in here right now. Perfect. So I wanted <clears throat> just a pancake. And you were like, nah, nah, man. nah no, no way. It's the festive season. You're going to have pancakes every day of your life. But now fine. you're making a whole cake. Yeah, but this is it's crazy. A nice, it's a nice layered cake. I love layered pancake cakes. Mm. And this one's got a white chocolate ganache in it. It's oh just, it's just, word. it's just, the, it's just festive. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna make Crack me a on. lungo, what do you I should leave. A lungo. Yeah. Seeing as only Carl and Zoe got gifts, Graham's yeah. gonna make me a gift. He's making me a coffee. I've also got you this bowl of lovely chocolates. That's I'll your make, gift. I'll make you some ganache. Thank you so much. Like a nice ganache. Nice ganache. Okay, cool. So, got some eggs, and I'm just gonna break them up. Oh, cool tip, if you ever struggle to whisk eggs, and you always got those two yolks that are like, Avoiding yeah. the whisk. You just kind of get them. Just spear them. Before you start <laughs> whisking. They must learn. You're in charge. You will dominate okay. those egg Then yolks. you beat your eggs. Okay. So they give, must give, know. give them a good beating so just to like get it all incorporated. Then to that, we're going to go with some malted butter. And the malted butter does two things. It adds richness to your pancake. And it gives it that nice color. When you take it off, it's got that nice caramelization on there. Okay. So get that in there. We're going to go in with a little bit of oil as well. Add your fats to your eggs first. That way, when you add your flour, you don't end up with too many lumps. Okay. That's the trick. Okay, cool. That's the theory Fat. also. Because don't put things out on live TV yeah. and then lumps. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay, cool. It's that the theory. But don't expect them to be zero lumps. You still have to beat your... your... Okay, here we go. Whoa, oh, I, I, beautiful. Pushed, I pushed this to the limit, man. You know what? That's what the festive season's about. <laughs> okay, cool. So, Here we go. you're going to hang on to that because that's going to be for you. Okay. Really, thank you. So, Yummy. pop this to the side quickly. Once we get it all incorporated, we're going to go in. I added that sugar in there. And we're going to go with some flour. Oh, vanilla, vanilla. Go, like, when people say one teaspoon of vanilla, I'm like, why? Yeah. No, do like three. Get the vanilla really coming through. Pancakes, not a lot of flavor if you think about they it. They benefit from that beautiful. They benefit yeah. from all that beautiful vanilla going in. So flour goes in. Add this gradually. What I always do when I make pancakes is I make the batter the night before or the day before. And I really give the flour a good chance to hydrate in that mixture. Okay. So when you make a pancake, it's just going to be flawless every time. What, what does that add to it? Is it, is it the gluten? Is it a, an elasticity thing? What, what, what? You're going to have a more solid, I, I'm going to say a more, it's not going to be as fragile a pancake batter because you've given the flour the chance to really absorb all those liquids. So you're going to see it's going to just come out perfectly it's every so single your, time. Your milk is tuning there. Okay, cool. This is for you also. Okay. Some cream. Yeah. What I'm going to do is pour some water over some gelatine. Okay. I'm going to put some cream over your chocolate salon to start ah, melting it. Ah, okay. You can actually add half of your lungo to that for me, okay. as a bliff. I will try and do that without. If your pancake batter is a little too thick, I'm just going to just temper it with a little bit, not temper it, yeah, T temper it with a little bit of milk. Get a nice consistency going. There we go. And pancake batter will keep in your fridge for about four days. So make a nice big batch. Wake up in the morning, kids can have a nice little pancake stack. How are you doing there? I'm loving, I'm loving the fact that we've got so many amazing coffees. It's been like a, a voyage of discovery all over again, going through the advent calendar, getting to all the various coffees. And today um, we are using a, a beautiful blend of Chinese, Kenyan and Indonesian Arabicas. So this is a split roast 
fast and light split roast uh, for the fine grind for a mild but not too mild flavor, kind of middle of the road. Then we've got the red fruit notes with a hint of citrus there, a little bit of acidity, all round mild body, but it is acidity and roasting. I think this is a very well balanced coffee and this is ideally out in the Lungo, the 110 mil. Okay, cool. You've got that okay. looking good. The so gelatine has bloomed great. already. I'm gonna add to the last little bit of cream that I've got in the pot, mix that through. So this beautiful white chocolate ganache is gonna set up nicely. It's gonna hold its shape. And in we go, here we go. Go for it. Mix, mix, mix. Yay. So ideally you do wanna put your pancake batter into the fridge for at least 10 minutes just to give it a chance to, like I said, absorb all that liquid. Fully hydrate. Fully hydrate. That's is, also yeah. key for the festive season. Fully stay, hydrated. Stay hydrated. Put that on a t-shirt. I should have put that on a t-shirt and gifted it to you. Oh, but wait, we're not getting gifts. I got you a gift. Oh, really? I got you a gift. Oh, really? Is it the ribs from yesterday? Oh, you got such big hands. I don't Go. know. Oh, Go for your gift. Go for your gift. Go oh, for your gift. Thanks, man. Are you that guy? Oh, how cute is this? Yeah. Oh, my. Get out. You don't understand. I've got two sausage dogs at home. Hey! Hey! Oh, that is beautiful. How cute is that, dude? Thought about you. Had to, had to, had to. Must have been love. Okay, end us off here very right, quickly. Cool. How so, do pancakes stay? Now, pancakes go into the pan. What you do is you're going to take that layer. Once the pancakes come out, let them cool slightly, okay? Mm -hmm. That should also cool slightly. It's starting to thicken already, yeah. And you start layering it. Pancakes, ganache, and when you're done, ganache. pistachios. And go for the salted pistachios. Mm. We know that salt, chocolate goes so well together. Yeah, also goes salt. really well with a ganache. So, I'm going to start baking some pancakes, but that's the recipe. It's Please, done. Please, man, you've got a lot of batter, a lot of pancakes. Let's make a cake, my friend. You can find this recipe on expressoshow.com. In fact, that's where we keep all of our culinary inspiration. So please, at the beginning of a show, go and look there, get the recipe, and then cook along with us, and then post pictures. That's the most important part. Beautiful stuff, Chef Clem. Love thank you. you. Thank you. It's very good night. New Virtuo. With a single touch, an innovative technology for a generous crema and unique moments to share. Virtuo, standards are meant to be broken. Nespresso, what else?